that they have, not only on the people who are with them, but on the communities as well. And M. Rob, I'm sure yourself as a former player, you probably had some experiences that were pretty cool that you look back on where you were able to give it yourself. Yeah, I had a uh, shop with a jock a few years when I was in Seattle just to see the see the faces of the kids that you're dealing with and, and giving them gifts, gifts that they would never get. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty Juju cool Smith-Schuster had the entire Target toys aisle or whatever we're, Walmart awesome, I think he was man. at. <laughs> and, and he made, lined up cart after cart to deliver uh, goods to no, kids. That's awesome. Out that's of awesome. his own heart. Love seeing that. I mean, that book, that Walter Payton yeah. Man of the Year, it's like a... It's like a phone book, an yeah, old school awesome. phone book I'm trying to make my way through. Over, <laughs> it's my holiday reading, all the good that these guys are doing across the league. Another one of those guys joining us right now, Texans defensive tackle DJ Reader. He's established himself as a key member of the Texans defense, but he's even a bigger force in the Houston community, which earned him a Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year. Nam, take a look. <laughs> Giving back is important to me because it's personal to me. My parents had a great foundation. They showed me great values and how to help people. And they also told me that I was blessed to be on this platform of playing in the NFL. And this has given me the opportunity to reach out and give back to people. I gotta see the juju. Before Instagram. True inspiration right there. We are so fortunate to have him on the show right now. He is the linchpin for the Texans along the D-line. His team is a huge Saturday game right here on NFL Network, kicking off our triple header at 1 p.m. Eastern against Tampa Bay in Tampa Bay. But let's give it up for DJ Reader. All right, DJ. Yay. Good morning, DJ. What's up, <laughs> What's up guys? Wake What's up, up, DJ. Happy to have you on the show. Oh, I'm up. You've got a big game and you're busy. I'm up. I'm up. So, I just never done this before. Thanks for making time for us. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the honor, the Walter Payton Man of the Year nomination. What does it mean to you? Uh, you know, it means the world to me. Um, my parents taught me a lot and just how to be a person who cares about people and, you know, just care about others and push yourself in a way. And be, I'm blessed to have a platform to be able to do that. So, you know, um, you know, it's just something that I really wanted to do. And, you know, I'm excited and blessed with this honor. You know, to, our team does so much with guys around me and people who do so much around me. You know, it's just it's just blessing to be the representative from our team. DJ, your work that you do in the community is not only impressive, it's sprawling. It's ever You do a lot. Yeah. But some of your biggest efforts come with the National Kidney Foundation. Tell us why this cause is so close to home for you. Um, you know, it's personal to me. Um, you know, losing my dad to kidney failure is something that hit me hard and something I didn't really know about. Um, you know, there's a lot of other causes out there to get a lot more recognition. And, you know, I wanted to find my niche and something that was personal to me. So... I chose the National Kidney Foundation and, you know, it's, it's stuck, you know, being able to go in those, a lot of dialysis centers and see people, that's like the best thing for me, you know, because I remember my dad was going through that and just seeing the encouragement that he needed. So being able to go in those places and have those type of things in these walks has just been a blessing for me. Yeah, that's pretty cool. DJ, huge game for your team on Saturday right here on NFL Network against yeah. Tampa. If you win the AFC South, it's yours for the second straight season. How important is it yep. for you guys to lock up a playoff berth this weekend and not leave anything to chance in Week 17? Um, I think we want to take advantage of the opportunity that's in front of us. You know, we want to win the next game, and that game just so happened to give us a chance to lock up this division, and, you know, that's, that's what we want to go out there and do. And I think everybody has that task at hand. You know, you don't want to leave it to the last week, so I think we're, we're excited to go out there and play ball on Saturday. All right, DJ, uh, you know, we don't have the stats necessarily to fully yeah. describe what you've been doing this season, okay, because you're not, you're not the skill. He's a baller, Jeezy. Just he's, go ahead and say it, man. It. He's a playmaker hey, on the man. defensive hey, line. Man. Put some money oh, in this man. man's pocket. Ben right Milton, Ben Milton, yeah, right straight now. Up, straight like that. Oh. Thank Cash you out. for stalling because I just got <laughs> choked up a little okay. bit here. We got you. So what I was going to say was I've got Mike Rob to lean on. He says you're balling. I've got Pro Football Focus has you on their Pro Bowl roster. But you're not on the NFL Pro Bowl roster. You're not on the AFC team. Come on, man, Vent. Yeah. You got to be disappointed <laughs> because you know you deserve that uh, spot. Um, you know, there's probably a lot of people out there who feel like they deserve that spot, man. Um, you know, I just felt like I had a decent season. You know, the guys around me, we had a good game plan this year and been having a good year. But there's more work to be done, and you know, uh, maybe next year, next time, next time around. Okay. That's a yes. That's yeah. a yes. Well, I'll say it for him. Get that, 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 that all pro. <laughs> get that all he was pro. wrong. Nah. Yeah. Hey, exactly. <laughs> we, got, we got bigger things to go on, so we, we're excited. You know, um, we have the playoffs coming up. Hopefully still playing. I can't go to it anyway.
DJ, I'm just going to put my cards on the table. Uh, yesterday, yeah. I, on this program, compared the Houston Texans to someone who I used to date who was really cool and I was very attracted to, but I just couldn't trust because I didn't know what to expect weekend to weekend. Um, huge wins for you guys against the Colts, against the Patriots, yeah. followed up by a very disappointing home loss to a five-win Denver team. How can you get over this? How can you help the fans trust the Texans to be in an ongoing committed relationship with the Texans week after week? I mean, you know, relationships go through ups and down. Um, I think, you know, there if you, you just go. trust in us and stick with us and, you know, I know very successful marriages have been through ups and down relationships. So, you know, um, just stick with us. You know, we're going to make you right. We're going to prove you right. DJ, that's a great, great answer, man. Great. Answer, I'm in love. I don't even know. Oh, that was great. That was awesome. Great. That was really good. Great answer. <laughs> so there's been a lot of questions lingering around your defensive line, the potential return of a game yeah. changer named J.J. Watt from his torn pec. We're hearing this. We're hearing that. Finish this sentence for me. If we see J.J. Watt back on the field this season, then... You're going to see an animal out there back playing. You know, you're going to see a guy, mm. just a dude. <laughs> Mm. A dude back out there, you know, somebody who we love, you know, we'd love to have back out there. So, you know, um, if he gets back out there, it's just, you know, it's, it's bad news for everybody else. And, you know, I'm excited. Ooh. DJ, you don't see many guys your size on the baseball diamond. Yeah. <laughs> but that was the yeah. case your freshman <laughs> year in college uh, at Clemson. What kind of a player were you, and do you miss playing the game of baseball? Um, I was pretty much okay. the biggest cheerleader on the team. Um, I do miss it though. Uh, I do miss it all the time. You know, I played a lot in high school, and you know, I was blessed to be able to go to Clemson where Coach Sweeney and Coach Lega gave me the opportunity to play both, live out my dream. You know, I, I scored a run though, uh, no hits, played a little first, scored a run, got on base a couple times. So you know, it, I played a little bit. What one at bat? You versus Patrick Mahomes on the on on the Ooh. on the hill. I like it. What Come happened? On, go Come yard. On. I'm ta I'm taking me. I got to take me. Yeah. Okay. I'm taking How about me. against Jameis on the mound? Oh. How about that? Me. I'm still – anybody you put up there, I'm taking me. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> DJ, it. thank yeah. you, brother. Thanks for Back checking flip. in with the breakfast table this morning, man. Go win that game, uh, brother. Yes, sir. Appreciate you guys. And then, and then get that deal. Pay the man. Yeah. DJ Reader. The, I'm sorry, on the bump, not yeah. on the hill. Okay. <laughs> on the, I like the whole on the hill thing. Pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool what he does with the National Kidney Foundation. Love that. Yep. Uh, how about this triple header on Saturday? Kyle,